This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. All right, well, good morning, everybody. So uh, it's a medical minute about a disease or a syndrome that I had not really heard of till recently, um, something called Kunis syndrome, and it's K-O-U-N-I-S, if anyone wants to look it up. But it's basically an allergic acute coronary syndrome, also called allergic MI, um, hypersensitivity acute coronary syndrome. And the idea is that sometimes people have really bad allergic reactions. They can have an associated acute coronary syndrome, an acute MI. And the triggers are similar to regular allergic reactions, uh, most commonly uh, medications like antibiotics or insect bites. So this person gets a regular allergic reaction and then they don't exactly understand why, but through some you know, complicated pathophysiology, including uh, you know, mast cell activations and inflammatory cytokines and platelet activations, you can either get really bad uh, spasming of your coronary arteries, which can give you basically just narrowing of your coronaries and presentation like an MI, or people who have previous heart disease and atherosclerotic disease can get platelets to get activated and you can get uh, plaque ruptures and an actual occlusion of your coronary arteries or even blockages of previous stents because of the inflammation. So, you know, they can, like I said, present with anaphylaxis and chest pain and we shouldn't just assume that, oh, it's just their allergic reaction causing their chest pain or difficulty breathing. It could just be ACS as well. You know, treatments, you do would treat their allergic reaction with the you know, caveat being that sometimes epinephrine should be used cautiously. If someone's having an acute MI, we might not want to give them too much epinephrine, but you know, if they really need it because their anaphylaxis is terrible, we just need to weigh it. So we'll be a little more judicious with epinephrine. And then it's also recommended to avoid morphine for chest pain because morphine can cause a little bit of a you know, mast cell activation, you know, flushing, redness, and that can make the allergic reaction worse. Sometimes people get better with you just treating the allergic reaction and their EKG changes and chest pain go away. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes they need to go to the cath lab as well because they can have a combination of like true blockage. Um, so kind of an interesting idea. I'm not sure if I've ever seen it and missed it, but you know, if you know about it, sometimes we'll catch it. Any comments, questions? All right, thanks. The Emergency Medical Minute would like to thank our sponsor, Swedish Medical Center, for helping fund our nonprofit organization and make this podcast possible. Donations are essential to our organization to cover operational costs and fund the creation of our online courses offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. So if you enjoy our show, and if you're able to make a one-time or recurring donation towards our organization, any amount is helpful. Please click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.